public ministry of speeches and miracles. People begin to gather around this man by the thousands. He did not claim to be a mere prophet. He did not claim to be a mere preacher or speaker or even one who points the way. He claimed to be the way. He actually claimed to be skin and bone God. He actually said, I'm God amongst you. And all of your searching and all of your cravings and all of your appetites and all of your desires it is you, God, that we're searching for. One of the titles given for God, not used much, is the desire of all nations. Whether we know it or not, there is within each and every one of us an unrelenting desire to connect with the one that put our lips, hips, and fingertips together. There is something inside of us that cries out, there must be more to this life than the curation of things and stuff, reputation, renown, or money. Why are we here? Why are we here together at the same time? Why are we living at the same time? What is the point of it all? Jesus said, let me surmise life itself. It is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. It was in that earthly ministry that Jesus began to tell the crowds of thousands, I'm going to die. People begin to murmur and whisper. They begin to wonder, why would you die? If you're God, why would you die? And he began to explain in so many different ways, with so many different metaphors and analogies. He said, I'm going to die for you. For the Bible says that all of us have erred. We have wronged. We are selfish. We have hurt one another. We have hurt ourselves. We have done things that by definition are wrong. The Bible says,